everybody it is our september bogo craft night and we were going to go live but um we had something come up and rather than rescheduling it and um, we're just going to do a pre-recorded version so that you can still get your fall um bogo kit painted so this one is really fun and there's a couple different options for you what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and paint the um, big pieces. And I just realized that all of my brushes went to a class. Um, let's see, I'll just use sponges. This is, okay, I'll just do the brush on here. All right, so we're going to do gray as a base coat and then we're going to go back and add a little rust color and we can cover those engraved letters right up because that's just going to show us where to put and um, the 3d letters so i'm just using a massive paintbrush here <laughs> not a craft brush because i think mine are still packed up from gnome night at a local restaurant. And I'll just use a makeup sponge on the other pieces, so. Man, this month has flown by, hasn't it? It is hard to believe that it's almost October already. Seems like the months get shorter and shorter. But yeah, it's almost time to vote in another BOGO, and it seems like we just did that, so. I am glad that it's almost fall though. We're getting some really nice weather. Okay, so I'm gonna do, um, I'm just gonna use a makeup sponge for the white letters. Which I think you should have at least one, right? And you can use both ends and fold them over and use the side. You can get quite a few colors in one makeup sponge. So I'm just dabbing in that white and then getting all the excess off. So just like that. And then I'm just gonna real quick go over these letters. Just that this goes a lot faster on the wood pieces with the makeup sponge, especially the little, little pieces and the letters. I like to use brushes on the big ones and sponges on the smaller ones. Okay, see how quick that was? And it keeps you from getting the, um, the edges super full of paint too, as long as you dab off that sponge before you go over it. Now, I'm just gonna use the same brush or the same makeup sponge. And listen, we sent all of these pieces that go inside these pumpkins to you, but you don't have to use them. So you can leave the middles out and just keep that border. Um, the example does not have the inserts on the smaller pumpkin, but it does on the big one. So totally up to you. I'm gonna follow the example and I'm gonna dump these, but you can use them if you want. Okay, so then we just have an outline pumpkin like this. Now, all of the outline pieces are the light brown color. So what I'm gonna do is use that same sponge. I'm gonna get some of that light brown and then I'm gonna dip it. And I'm just gonna go straight over the outside. Now, it's gonna be very similar to the wood color and that's okay. That's what we want always use your own paint to do you know any kind of different colors that you want to do you don't have to ever follow the exact paint recipe so to speak okay so that one's covered like I said it it's very um close to the wood color okay so this is gonna be difficult they're trying to pop out um, you do want to make sure all of those little cutout pieces are popped out of your wood. We tried to get most of them um, 
and usually they just fall out but every now and then some of them like to stick so make sure <clears throat> that you pop out any of those leftover pieces oh that one is jumping at me okay, you just want to hold that hold that down some See, there's one of those those middle pieces that got left behind came out with the paint okay so we're gonna let that dry and let's go over here to our leaves so the leaves we did um, a multitude of colors or multiple colors so a little bit of this light green and a little bit of a golden yellow. Um, I'm gonna flip this over and use this end of the makeup sponge. And you can kind of double dip both colors if you want. So see how I have the green and the gold. And just kind of start dabbing right across the middle of your piece like that. and then kind of move around to both sides. So you just want it to look kind of blended with multiple colors. You can use a paintbrush too if you want. You just kind of start on one end and paint a little bit of yellow and then a little green and kind of blend them around with the brushes. So there's one. And you can do some with more green or some with more yellow. You can even mix in some red if you wanted. Maybe a little orange. Or you could do mostly yellow. So however you want to do it. I just like them to look a little bit different from each other. So that sponge just makes that so easy. All right, so um, I'm gonna just move this. We've already painted it, it's drying, and we just need to paint our base pumpkin. So I'm just gonna slide this right off, just like that, and we can paint underneath. So this is the color that's gonna show through all of these pieces here. So we um, are gonna use a nice teal color on this big pumpkin. And since I forgot to grab my gr brushes, I guess I'm just going to use another makeup sponge. So I'm just gonna kind of spread this around. Now this is gonna be covered by that top layer, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. Alright, we're going to let that dry. And we'll do just a regular fall orange on our baby pumpkin here. It'd be pretty to do um, like white white and orange or white and teal pumpkins. Those would be, that would be pretty too. All right, the only other thing left to paint is the stand and then we'll do the rest. So I'm just gonna do um, a regular dark brown on this. And 
And again, be careful about getting a bunch of paint inside these slots here because that will change how the pieces fit inside of it. Um, if you get too much paint there, it'll make it hard for you to slide that in, slide those pieces into the slots. I picked up a little bit of teal there. I did not mean to do that. That's one good thing about the makeup sponge is that it really, as, like I said, as long as you don't overload it with paint, it really prevents you from being able to get a bunch of thick paint down into those slots. So, <clears throat> Alright, so a couple different ways that you can do the rust color. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Look at this getting multiple paint colors everywhere all right so when you want to do the rest on the milk can um you can use a brush and just kind of dab it on around the edges or you could use a makeup sponge or i'm going to show you how to use one of these craft sponges i mean it's basically a sea sponge but it has a different texture and you can get these in the craft section at most stores but I like to use this when I'm doing um, rust. So again, you don't have to use this, but if you have one or want to try it, um, it is great for this task. So let me move these out of the way. <clears throat> now, I do not have the same color that came in your kit. And we ran out so I just grabbed a metallic so it's gonna look a little bit different than yours but I'm gonna dip this sea sponge in this metallic color and I'm gonna dab it off just like I did um, with the other paint let's see here and you might want to test if you're using the sea sponge for sure you might want to test it before you go straight to your um, project all right so I'm just gonna go right around the edges and just stab that on like this see how nice that is it's like the perfect amount and texture when using this this type of sponge this is why I really like to use these for any kind of rust, rusted farmhouse look. Um, let's see. I'm just go all the way around the edges here. Just like that. You can dab at the top if you want. There we go. Super easy, right? And that's pretty much it. We're just going to you're going to glue all these together. So we'll just glue these pieces to the bottom. And um, there is one more day to order this. Tomorrow's the last day of the month, so you can still get the BOGO kit. Um, I can't remember what the code is. I think, oh man, I have to look it up. I think it's pinned to the top of our page though. We can post it in the comments later. Um, but we have had several questions this month about um, not getting all the right supplies. But um, if you've been doing the BOGO for a while, you know that we created this for uh, like during the or around the shutdown or, you know, during all that um, as a way for people to craft and connect. So to be able to get together still, you know, when things weren't all the way back open. Um, we ship a kit and then you have two for the price of one so you can get together with a friend or family and, and kind of do a girls night in or a craft night together so we do combine all the supplies so you get two kits two wood kits but you're only going to get one paint kit because in that one paint kit we put enough paint for you to be able to paint both kits together okay so again this BOGO is for crafting and connecting. 
with each other. So we combine all the paint into one kit for both projects. Um, and then we wrap, we also double wrap the projects. So the whole two milk cans are wrapped inside of um, one package. Okay, so I think everything is painted. What you're gonna do, and I did not grab any twine, but you're gonna string the twine through your little leaves here, and then you'll just tie it around your baby pumpkin. So the small leaves go with the baby pumpkin. And then you have the two, you can use them both or you can use one, however you wanna do it. You're just gonna string that twine through and then tie it around the big pumpkin. Now you're going to arrange it like so. You're gonna have the um, milk can is gonna go in the big slot to the back. So make sure that the big slot is at the back side of your um, Stand. and then you'll just slide these inside just like that okay so you'll want to glue that probably into that slot and then your um, side slots are a little wider because this is a double layer of wood so once you glue that they should fit right into I haven't glued it so it's not completely lined up I don't like to glue this because we, we resell these in our D-Stash, which we're gonna be having soon, by the way. If you are a fan of our fall D-Stash, it is coming soon to you. So, um, a lot of these we don't glue so that you can get them in the D-Stash and um, repaint them or whatever you wanna do to them. All right, so there is our fall milk can. It's adorable, right? So fun. Anyways, hope you have fun painting with your um, friends or family. Thanks for um, getting the BOGO this month and watch the next few days. Well, probably early next week for a new set of kits to um, vote for. All right, y'all have a great weekend. Post pictures of your finished kits in the craft kit group and we'll see you soon.